Hello and welcome to JJ's Food Reviews. So it's kind of a late night tonight. I've had a really busy day and I thought I'd uh, give you a brief channel update and also review something that's uh, kind of special to me that won't be around any longer apparently. So first of all, I just wanted to say that I appreciate all my subscribers and viewers. Um, this channel's actually been around over five years now and I just realized that recently and I was thinking, wow, we've been around five years and uh, made many good memories and enjoyed many different interesting foods. So as you may remember, um, I kind of started transitioning this channel away from fast food towards like grocery store food and uh, sometimes, you know, nicer restaurant type food and, and you know, a few cooking videos. And, and that's been going well. So I know that um, kind of there's a, a big market for fast food type reviews, but if, if you know some of my older viewers um, been around with me for a while, will remember about a couple years ago, for about a year, um, I had a few trips to the hospital, just different things going on with, uh, I don't like to get too much into health information, but you know, just some liver stuff and uh, cardiovascular stuff and, and uh, obviously alcohol is off the list, but um, there's also things like fried foods that I'm not supposed to really eat a lot of. So I mentioned, you know, in an update, I said I'm not going to be doing a lot of, uh, you know, fried food reviews, fast food reviews like I used to. I'm kind of going to transition to healthier stuff. So the good news is I've been uh, I've been doing pretty well health wise, and uh, it's been a it's it's been good. It's been a blessing. I'm I'm very happy with my health, and I'm going to continue uh, transitioning more towards the healthy foods. So you're probably not going to see much fast food review stuff from me anymore, but the channel's going to go on and I'm still going to review other stuff. But I just wanted to be upfront about that. Um, the transition is pretty much complete now, but I wanted to do <laughs> maybe one more fast food review for you guys. This is from Taco Bell. And I just found out, you know, like I said, I haven't had much fast food lately and I didn't know it's been this way for a couple months now, but they don't make the seven layer burrito anymore. And that's something I remember when it came out back in the, back sometime in the 90s. And I, I told, I, I told people, I can't believe they took that away. But, uh, you know, I thought I'd review it one more time, just for old time's sake, since it's gone now, but they made a special just for me, because I'm JJ. So anyway, other than that, uh, things have been pretty good. Um, got a lot of irons in the fire. And uh, as you may remember, when I started this channel, um, living back at home with my family, uh, out on the peninsula, and uh, I was working in fast food. I actually started this channel on a road trip. Uh, my brother and I had the idea to start it up because I watched a lot of food reviews um, for a few years. Uh, they've really been, so I kind of find relaxing and I'm interested in food and culinary stuff. I'm no chef, but you know what I mean. And so I was working in fast food, started up this channel, um, ended up having several uh, food related cooking type jobs in hospitals, also uh, you know, ch uh, cooking Chinese food, that was, that was a lot of fun. And I've recently been transitioning into a new career path, more into the logistics type stuff. I'm still a blue collar guy, it's all good. I probably have a new gig in the works that will be taking me back up to Seattle, my old, my old stomping grounds, that should be pretty cool. But anyway, things have been good. I'm glad you're along for the ride. So let's go ahead and try this seven layer burrito. So that seven layer burrito was really good and that's a taste that I have missed. Um, it's really too bad Taco Bell decided to get rid of that. Apparently they're moving more towards uh, meat flavored options and away from vegetarian options, but uh, I wouldn't consider myself a vegetarian by any stretch, but I really do enjoy my veggies and uh, veggies are good for you, they're healthy. What can I say? I think it's a bit of a letdown that they got rid of that. Seven layer burrito was very good. It has beans, um, guacamole, sour cream, rice, you know, like the good Spanish rice. Um, you know, it's got, uh, that's four layers. It's got tomatoes, uh, cheese, this is six, and then I think onions is seven. So it's not on the level of seeing you get a fine dining experience, but it was good. It was probably one of my favorite items from Taco Bell. That along with the spicy tostada, which sadly is gone as well. So anyway, farewell to the seven layer burrito. It was good while it lasted. And all good things, I guess. You know, they have their day in the sun. Anyway, another thing I'd like to bring up is I've decided to change my rating scale 
for my food reviews. So normally I do what a lot of reviewers do, which is kind of a, you know, you do a scale from one to five or one to 10. I usually went with one to 10, but it, it feels very ar arbitrary. And uh, just because I tend to buy foods that I like, you know, I, my scores all tend to range pretty much. They tend to bunch up between seven and nine and occasional 10, you know, maybe six now and then. Rarely do I have a poor rating, but it just seems kind of like it's getting kind of old. And so I thought I'd mix it up a bit. So those of you who are from the United States will probably uh, easily understand a letter rating scale. For those of you who aren't familiar with it, basically I'm gonna do like the American schools and colleges rate things, you know, rate your grades. So an A would be exceptional, you know, like top level, um, the best of the best. You're in the conversation, like you're the top of your class. Well, in this case, I'm gonna give an A to foods and meals that I consider um, the best of the best some of the best things I've ever had. And so that's gonna be very rare. And uh, it's, I'm not gonna grade on a scale anymore. So I used to do like, oh, it's fast food, I'll grade on a fast food scale. If it's a fancy restaurant, I'll grade on a fast food, uh, fancy restaurant scale. I'm just gonna do all, everyone even. I'm not gonna grade on a scale anymore. That's a change I'm doing. So A is the top of the line. B is gonna be something very, very good that I really enjoyed and I will definitely get again. I was very happy with it. So it's, you know, that's gonna be a good rating. Um, C is gonna be just something that's in the average range. Something that, yeah, I'm okay with, it's all right, but it's just average. D is gonna be something that's just barely, barely acceptable. Something I did not enjoy very well. Um, maybe not get again, you know, it is what it is. That's gonna be the D rating. And then F is gonna be something that fails. Something that I just did not like at all. So um, that's gonna be my new scale. I'm gonna do A, B, C, D, and F. So anyway, this is it for now. Thanks for watching this channel update, and I appreciate all my viewers and subscribers. Hope you have a great day, a great day today. It's been a long day, and I hope to see you again soon for another episode of JJ's Food Reviews. Take care, everyone.